I feel book. like that'd be Shren, you know? Just have Why would it be me? Why would, would I ever game. have a book? Yeah. I mean, you fit perfectly, bro. You'd use any means necessary to win, and you have glasses, dude. Oh, okay. And you kind of have a red tracksuit somewhere in your closet. <laughs> and it's perfect. Why am I always the guy that they relate with tracksuits? Is it just because of the Serbian stereotype or what? Do you, like, do you have a tracksuit, though? That's what I want to know. Do you have a tracksuit in your closet? That's the point. It's... <laughs> oh, okay. All it's... right. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakai Podcast, week two of the summer 2020 season. On this show, we'll be talking about the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello! Next up, we have Ku. Hi there. Next up, we have Brian. Hello! And finally, we have Taylor. Hello! Alright, um, just a couple pieces of anime news to go over real quick. Uh, Haikyuu Manga is ending on the 20th, I think that's next week. And so... <laughs> You sad, Brian? It's so good. <laughs> You're not reading the manga, though, are you? No. Okay, that's fine, man. We have another terrible, you know, uh, animation for us. Uh, it's gonna happen. For- what the hell, dude? What the fuck? Plus, I don't think next the next season's not, the the one coming in October is not the final anime one. So I'm pretty sure we have more. No. Like, oh yeah, there's definitely more, more to come. So, but that's it for the manga. I just, yeah. I just meant the animation, but. Jeez. Well, maybe the animation isn't like you, huh? Probably doesn't. How about, how about you come out with your own animation and let's just judge you on that, okay? Okay. Good try. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so that's the only piece of news we have. This We're we are uh, go right into ReZero. Uh, t- so, first episode aired last week on Wednesday. And basically, uh, setting up the arc for the season, it, it started off with... Um, Basically, the scene, the last scene of the director's cut, was basically the first scene of this new, this new season. So you find out that um that we have two new uh, villains, greed and gluttony, and basically, you know, Stren's Stren's uh, favorite scenario, Ram goes in a coma, and <laughs> what happens? <laughs> That's basically like the yeah. setup for the seasons. Like, so Rem's now in a coma because like her. Because like her memories erased and everyone forgot about her, and then um, Subaru can't he can't um, reset back to before that. So this is basically yeah, the damn setup. quick save. Yeah. Oh darn, Rip Rem. It was nice knowing you. No, so, there's a chance. Does uh um does Subaru still remember her? Yeah. Yes. He's like the only okay. one. Oh, and Puck too for some reason. So like. Did he, did he really, though? I felt like he was hinting that he was connected to her, but I don't think he, like, knew her, knew her. Uh, it was yeah. hard to tell. Yeah. Because, like, basically, uh, when they cut to that scene where Subaru was trying to take care of Rem, and then there was Puck, and then there was others that came in and said, hey, like, so this is Rem, huh? Like, it feels like we had a connection. Like, no one really specified that they knew her like Subaru did. Okay. I wasn't I mean, sure. I, just... I wasn't sure either. So I'm. I was saying it as like he he knew, but we'll see. Uh-huh. So that's basically yeah. the first episode. So I guess I want to hear everyone's thoughts on like the return of Reezer after like what four years and <laughs> what are your expectations? Well, <laughs> it's been a whole like three months since I finished Reezero. I didn't have to wait the four years, but I am super excited. <laughs> My excitement makes up for not having to wait those four years. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Um, it's like me with IQ. Threaten your thoughts. You still like Rem or no? I didn't. I didn't watch it. <laughs> oh Wait. my lord! What? Yeah, he's not watching it. I, Why? Because I, 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 I already, I already know tons of spoilers. So I'm just, and then I'm just like, eh. Man, he called us. Doesn't matter. <laughs> no. Oh man. So you want to tell us what happens to that? Um. How about yeah. no? Uh, this a. Uh... Oh, rip Stren. How about no? How about Ren still best girl? <laughs> Brian, we were over this. We already know my thoughts. <clears throat> Bro, how is she not best girl? Even with the opening scene showing her fight like her ass off. Even though she knew she was gonna lose, she was defending the uh the princess or the the queen or whatever. She literally speaks like 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 
she had three lines in a row that were like, oh, he's my hero. He's our hero. I'm going to dedicate everything to save him. Like, she doesn't even talk like a real human being. Like She's she not a human being. She's Taku's wet dream. Like, She's a demon. <laughs> Duh. She doesn't know any better. Oh, my God. gosh. What do you mean she doesn't know any better? What? She's not a human being. She's uh <laughs> she's a demon, so it's okay. They just don't don't get the uh the, the culture reference, so it's okay. But the point is But the point yeah, is she does her I, best I, to protect. She does her best to protect, and that's that's extremely worthy of a waifu. So well, she's I, in a coma now, so <laughs> her dreams are over. And she'll be back. Oh. Yeah, how dare they, right? Like how dare they start the show off with her in a coma, dude? I was so mad. Like, I was hoping Subaru could do something, but his quick save fucked him up. Uh, he doesn't even know what he's going to do at this point. And as of right now, she's in a coma. That's that's oh, horrible. You horrible. didn't know she was going to be in a coma? You didn't know before that episode? No. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. the part where now I'm well, here. How did, how did you know then? Because hmm? I, I, I have read a little bit into where we're at right now. Yeah, read or did Trent just vent? No, he refuses to talk about Rizuru. <laughs> oh, God. I have firm stances right now. So it gets bad, huh? Well, actually, I have no idea. Um, I know, like, some parts, but then just from, uh, oh, God, what was it? Just, like, after, like, watching, like, the previous OVAs and stuff, just, like, what they kind of turned turned Rem into, like, everything they made Rem, but, like, Rem, like, top tier for me, like, at the beginning, they just kind of ruined it throughout the show. And it just kept going worse and worse and worse. Where at the point, I'm just like, eh, it's, it's, it's somebody else, please. What made Rem top tier for you? Let's 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 get down there, huh? Uh, Why was she top tier for you? Huh? Well, I think it was it was also because like when I when I started watching Rita Zero, it was like before I started watching about like it, before I started watching other good anime shows, and then finding out other better uh you know anime waifus, and then just started following towards that more, I guess, and then just found out that I did not think that the waifus in Rita Zero were as good as I thought they were at the time. So, Although, but... uh, speaking of the girls in the show, this is going to sound pretty inauthentic. I can't remember her name, but I have to say she's probably my favorite girl. Um, it's the one that, like, has also lost her memory. It's Greed ate her memories. Uh, the one with the green hair. Oh, the green hair. hair. Um, start, mm-hmm. I think Krish or whatever. Like... Yeah, something with a yeah. Kirsch or something. Yeah. Something that starts with a C. She's awesome, and I really yeah. like her. Krish, and I actually yeah. felt really sad for her with the whole thing, because I can't imagine how awful that would be. I so mean, Subaru, if you're in a coma, you don't know. <laughs> does Subaru know her? Or only Rem? No, no, Subaru knows both of them. Yeah. This man's like, okay. oh, God. So so basically what happened was, is, uh, a, like, the, the gluttony guy, the one that was, like, eating people's memories, I guess, um, he ate her memories, but he didn't eat her name. And I think it's because Rem kind of fucked up, right? I guess in the beginning, Rem told them her name, so they knew what to search for. So he ate her memories and her name. That's why no one can remember her name. Uh, but they still remember Krush or Krush. Yeah. Or she also got her arm cut off. So yes, she did. I'm surprised yes, it grew back. Did. Like, geez. At least Rebsa has both arms. Take that. Okay. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, Princess has both arms too. Loser. I mean, doesn't Rem regen anyway? I mean, she well, can't regen her know. memory, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Touche. All right, this is where we see where the step up and be the true hero that Rem believes him to be. All right, so he's gonna be so a man. He's gonna be a bitch. <laughs> he's gonna be a man. Wow, dude. Brian, the way you said that, <laughs> Jesus. Hey, hey, he's gonna make progress somehow, and I'm sure he'll manage. Right? He did it before yeah, with that just, giant white whale. I'm sure he'll, he'll manage. Find a life. different way to jump off a fucking cliff or something. <laughs> not, not yet, because you, because you, you remember he tried it and it oh. doesn't work, so he's going to move on right, past that. Brian, I like to see you stab yourself in the neck with that knife. Man, I, if I know I'm not going to die, I might as well just do it in a blaze of glory and right? just set up a bunch of explosive and just blow that bitch up. Oh, that probably. way, it's very, it's impact, and then I die right away, and then I come back. It's like no pain. This dude's doing it like the most gruesome way on purpose. I swear to God, he's a masochist. Uh, I mean, he wants is dying. I don't see like at least like trip on the knife or something. Dude. What trip? Why, trip on a knife? Way, way more painful. How is that way more painful? Like because if you trip on, like, it's like the surprise factor, right? Like if you if you just stab yourself in the neck slowly, that's just terrible. No, no, no. You're looking at it all wrong. If it doesn't kill you instantly, it doesn't matter what you do. It's still gonna hurt like a bitch. Yeah, that's why you trip on it and die instantly. 
no, that's why you do other things, but I shouldn't discuss it here because suicide is never the answer. So true, you won't true. discuss that here. Just, but unless you, can, unless you can come back to life, like ReZero. Right. But yes, we, we shall not talk about suicide here. Uh, but that is not the way to go, Brian. Do not trip on a knife because that is probably the worst way to die. So, I mean, it seems very difficult to. You probably just bleed out. But you probably just bleed out. Yeah. But you have to, you still have to like trip on it, like where it's pointing at you. You know. Yeah. Just like get really plat. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> But you guys don't think Subaru is going to pull through? I mean, I don't really, oh, no. I don't really remember what happened in season one. But I feel like with with the introduction of the, the old cast, because I I feel like since the majority of their their army is crippled now due to the fight, I I don't know how Subaru or the the kingdoms going to come mean, up with a okay. Like they already, they already showed him like he went through a lot during that second half. So yeah. I don't know. Like if he has to struggle again, like I don't know, like like. I mean, he's gonna pull th- pull through. That's like the point. Eventually, after mm-hmm. a bunch of struggling, misery, death, and torture, they'll pull through. Yeah, he's the MC. They always pull through. That's not true. That's not true. And in this show, it will be maybe Naruto, dude. I'm joking. That was a terrible. <laughs> what? <laughs> Naruto always pulls through because he never lets anybody down. He's also the MC of a shonen. Exactly. <laughs> so. <laughs> You know yeah. what? Fuck you, dude. I'm not even hating that. I'm just saying. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> All right. Does anyone have any predictions? What's gonna happen next? Or we just gonna wait? See what? Subaru's gonna die. He's gonna yeah, come I'll back to Boom. I was gonna say exactly that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything to go off on from yeah. here. Just nothing really happened really besides the coma. So. Right. Glutton. He's gonna become a glutton. Hmm. I forgot the Who, other one. It's like greed. Come on, man. Full Metal Alchemist here. Using a greedy. Another show I did not watch. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> Why are you on the show? Anyway, I'm done. Oh, I, didn't cool. I, I also want to ask, what do you think about the animation? Was it same as last time? Is it anything different? It looked weird to me. There were a couple times where I swear, like, Subaru's eyes are in the wrong spot. And I don't know if it was just me, but it seemed just, like, not quite as good. But. I'm not the best judge of animation always, so. Yeah, based on what I remember, it's not as, I mean, it's it's probably as good, but it didn't get better, which I was kind of hoping after this long looked, period it, of time. Yeah, it looked the same to me, so, like. Yeah, but uh, I will if, say, if Stratton would have watched it, you'd be able to judge, but, uh, I will say yeah, it looks like it was probably probably going back. It, it looks I'll, like the follow the art style from before. Maybe I'll pick up, like, uh, episode two, and then uh, we'll see. Mm. I will say uh, the soundtrack was really good, so I'm enjoying that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was so lost. Like, I need a recap episode, dude. It's been four years. There's no. Just find a you, find a video on YouTube. There's a bunch of recap ones on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm not as immersive. I'm not sure. I think about it. Can Can we talk about a show I watch now? All right, that's yeah, yeah that's gonna be okay. that's gonna be for well, you join us and watch this show, huh? Uh, okay, maybe week two. Okay, maybe next week it will uh, be. We'll no. see. Don't, like don't, ever, the... don't ever count on Stren, all right? Okay, I'm watching a lot of shows. A lot of it's trash, um, but it's good. Who don't shake your head like I'm the only one? <laughs> You're giving up ReZero for your trash shows, that's why. I'd fit it in the trash shows, yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, God. <laughs> you stay the hell out. All right, that's going to be it for ReZero. We're going to move on next to uh, Snafu, the, the English style. I always forget, like my teen love romantic, romantic comedy is comedy. as i expected, as I expected. <laughs> yeah Snafu or or uh or agaru yeah. gairu gairu not good yeah. call good enough not gonna lie i need a recap for the show too i don't know what the okay. fuck's going Sorry, on you I give any of these characters are oh my god i well the thing is like i did not actually rewatch the second season okay. like i should have so you probably have the best idea of it david uh, okay. <laughs> brian did you, oh, did you hate it too though I rewatched yeah, it. Did, did you hate Forget the Show after uh, Stratton didn't tell you that it left off at that point that there was it, no hope for it? It was still fresh in my memory time. for like a good year. And after that, I was like, <laughs> I just gave up all hope because I think okay. it was David that said, you know, give it like two, three I years. So that's that's came out. <laughs> but after that, I was like, I fucking give up, dude. <laughs> uh, I, was do, the same. I do actually rewatch. I actually do rewatch. I want to rewatch like the like season one and two again as well. 
it was enjoyable. <laughs> okay. It, it was. Uh, but yeah, so for a recap, uh, basically, season three, episode one, it's just starting off basically where season two, episode 13 left off. Um, right now, they're trying to figure out what they want to do, like what you Yukino is going to decide how to tell her family what her future plans are. And then, um, like, Seren was always talking about how, like, the subs didn't really make sense. I don't know, Ryan, did you watch it with the, the subs that Seren recommended or with the, the regular subs? Dude, I don't. It's been five years, bro. You think I'm going to remember that? I don't know. Maybe. No. Shit, I don't know. The, 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 the new season. What about the new season? Which, uh, did you, Crunchyroll? Yes. Okay, so you're watching garbage subs. Okay. Yeah, so like at first it didn't really make sense, but after rewatching the whole uh, season one, two, and OVAs, uh, I was looking at like the the comments and trying to figure out how the story pieces together. Because in the uh, in the Crunchyroll subs, they're always talking about how Hachiman was looking for that 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 true feeling or the real feeling, yeah. Which I didn't really get, but after reading comments, they're talking about how like Yukino's family doesn't want Yukino to to like get in a relationship with Hachiman because I guess he's not at that that. Uh, that status? political yeah status level yeah. so they didn't want her to uh, get with him so they're trying to find a way to break him apart and then uh yukino and hachiman and yui uh they had that little low triangle thing going on right but then we realized that yukino and hachiman have feelings for each other so they're trying to find a way to make it work and to get like yukino's family's approval in, in a sense and not so ruin their friendship with yui right so that's where we're left off uh season two hachiman, wait have they actually established that they like each other I was gonna say I never got those vibes actually. They didn't say it directly, but everyone knows. Well, yeah, it, it was hinted. The very last episode was Dude, hinted. From anything that I've ever learned ever, you never make assumptions, man. That just goes down the w- worst path ever. Especially with this show. True yeah. in real life, yes, but in anime, you can probably make assumptions and get away with it. See, I, I thought I saw it as like more of um, they were just like wanting like either because like the whole thing I thought it was just like uh, Yukino's sister just had like spite on her because she had like all this like pressure to. Like uh, take over like the company and everything, mm-hmm. and then Yukino was basically just be able. She was just free to do whatever she wanted. Um, I thought it was like more kind of. Like, I thought it was more of that. See, like right. I don't know what. Yeah, the thing about like her family pressure. I don't think her family knows anything about like their situation. I think it's mainly Yukino that brings it on to like herself. Because and it's it's not a business trend. Um, her dad's like a politician, and so right, right, okay. And like her mom's like basically controlling, like she's like overprotective or whatever so she basically she told the older sister like what she had to do and like she has to like look good in front of the family and then Yukino just always feels like a number two to her sister and basically um like uh what was it like Yukino um she always thought like she had to follow her sister and then this is like the first time she had to like decide things on her own so that's also why like things were like like she didn't know what to do that's why things were weird in the club too so, you know, so I'm not getting that feeling. I get the feeling that they don't really care much about Yukino, but since she's still part of the Yukino uh, family, she still has to like give up the certain uh, presence, right? Like she still has to hold a certain st- uh, uh, stature, and uh, she was kind of free to do whatever she wants because it didn't really matter what she did because her older sister Haruno was going to take over the business or the like the the family uh, image, anyways. So. Uh, I think that's what it is. Like, they don't really care what she's going to do, but the fact that she's kind of, like, stirring away from that and then getting involved with, like, a, a lower-tier uh, status guy like Hachiman, that's what they didn't want to happen. So I think that's that's what's really going on based on what I've read and saw. So I didn't get those vibes at all with, like, her family yeah. with Hachiman. We'll have to see later. Yeah, I don't think her family yeah. knows anything about Hachiman. We'll, we'll see because yeah. it is kind of... Reddit doesn't amazing. always have all the answers. No, I'm saying like you read it and you watch the interaction and you you kind of get that feeling just because of like if if you if you notice it like when you rewatch it like uh like Yukino's mom she never really like acknowledged Hachiman she made like one or two attempts to just uh, signify that she notices that he's there but that's about it like uh, in season two when they came back from that student council uh, chocolate testing thing or whatever uh, like she acknowledged uh, Yui. But she didn't like acknowledge that Hachiman was there, so oh, she's Hachiman always stays keep... quiet too. Hachiman doesn't really actually reach out to people; he stays pretty quiet. Yeah, but but, he's but, very but, outgoing. but but even still, like if he's there with your daughter, I, I'd imagine you at least like acknowledge him and try to make an attempt to like get to know him. But she she always seems to get off this cold vibe to Hachiman. Did um 
Well, did you did you watch it with Crunchyroll subs? Nope. Okay. Or, or yeah, 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 I did. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I had to do research because it kind of didn't make sense. But yeah. yeah. Well, pretty much what you guys are saying is the show is pretty much shit because it doesn't have good subs. All right, got it. You just have to find the right subs and you'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. That's like, terrible. No, no, you'll you'll still enjoy it, but you no. won't get like the true death of the like the meaning behind the story. Crunchy roll is terrible in this sense. Yeah, I was telling Stratton that if I hadn't read this part, then I wouldn't have even known what on earth they were talking about. Yeah. Wait, so but, I, mean, wait, I so... mean, like some of the interactions were fine, but some of the more nuanced stuff between the main trio is is pretty convoluted in the subs. Mm-hmm. So wait, Taylor, oh, do, you know what, do, you, do you know what's going on then? Do you want to explain it to us, um, too? Or, or at least say yeah. who's right? Am I wrong? I I, know, I mean, I would... I, I lean more towards Ku. Okay. I mean, I understand a little bit more how the actual main three feel in regards to each other. The stuff with Yukino's family, I kind of blast through because I don't care at all. So I, all right. I think that Ku is... All right, so what's, what's going on to the main three, then? Let's just hear that. Well, I mean, it's basically just what you guys said. I mean, everybody... Everybody knows that the two girls like him. He knows they like him. Everybody knows they all like each other. The two girls want to be friends. They're really close with each other. And they went through a lot to become that close. I mean, especially like Yukino. She really doesn't get that close to very many people at all. She's terrified of like hurting that friendship. Um, and she's so confused about what she wants to do pretty much in every aspect of her life anyways. And so I think it's just a whole, like, all of them just, and, and like, and then there's like Yui, who's kind of like the brave one out of all of them who like actually says stuff and tries to come to some sort of a conclusion um i mean it's pretty much what you guys said i mean that's where you guys are okay. at with it too right i think uh, i don't know it's, we have to establish like you think like ah. we have to establish i don't know like what we just the general consensus here because yeah just just make sure we're on the right track when the show keeps going so. well that yeah that's that's what I know for sure. But the stuff with Yukino's family, I, I really do go through very quickly because I don't care at all. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I think great. <laughs> hopefully they'll explain it later in the season and then we'll see. Yeah. The moment with him uh, with him and Komachi was, was awesome. Oh, yeah. You, I didn't expect him to start tearing you. up, but... Yeah. It's okay. The first time was more impactful when he teared up in the second season. Yeah. This one was just like, eh. <laughs> you, you know the feels already. Hachima, move on. You got Jeez. this. Jeez. How dare you? This guy is pouring out his heart and you just disregard it? Yeah. Horrible. I, I don't. Someone, someone doesn't love their siblings. I know, right? <laughs> no, I actually like their duo a lot. It's it's actually really good. Um, also, like the moment with, like, uh, was it Hachiman and Saki? Completely forgot about her. I think, she was even really, I think the, the flashback, they it's, it was probably a scene that was cut out in the original. It was. Yeah. So yeah. that's probably why they had to include that there. Otherwise, it just seemed random that she was into Hachiman. Yeah. I mean, it was still a nice scene. Uh, it was good. Yeah, I think they've hinted it before, but it was like subtle, like maybe once or twice. She, I mean, she's barely in the sh- in the anime, so yeah, she's yeah. she's barely there. Yeah. Um, for next week, is there any chance that you guys would be willing to watch like a different sub, just to yeah. see the difference? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, um, I'll let you guys know after the after the podcast. <laughs> cool. Can we rewind for a second back to when you guys were talking about how Yukino's parents feel about Hachiman? Didn't didn't her parents want her to end up with the blonde guy? I forget his name. Ha- Hakame, Haya, what, ha- whatever his name is. Did they even talk about I think, that? I think. Hayama, uh, yeah. Yeah, I could have sworn um, that they did talk about that. I didn't read that part, and it's been a while. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that they were like grooming no, them to I don't be think together ever, or be friends. They never hinted least? in the anime, so I don't. Yeah, in the, in the anime, like all these situations. No, no, <laughs> like in the anime, they never brought it up. They just mentioned that uh, they were childhood friends. And like uh, Hayama, was, yeah, and Hayama was the only one that Yukino's mom knew of that was Yukino's friend, but mm. that that was the only thing. Okay. Yeah, but um, the reason why I brought the subs up again because the only thing I saw on Reddit was that because I was trying to look up some other subs, and then uh, some guy was just absolutely shitting on Crunchyroll subs, um, and he was actually recommending other people. Because they said, like, I, I don't know about the other scenes, but they, he said that Crunchyroll specifically butchered the scene between, like, the, the trio um, mm-hmm. when they were outside. I don't know what happened. I never actually went back and, you know, looked at it and, like, watched it on Crunchyroll. I'll be interested in, like, comparing it to OES, you know? Okay. Yeah. It's just so that, we can maybe talk more about that next Because I, I don't know, like, all like, Japanese, but, like, 
Control yeah. they they do a more more literal translation, and like that's I think that's why people like say it's not good because it. like because there's yeah. a lot of context that you need to understand. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, oh shoot, what was I was gonna say, and just like also at the beginning when the when the thing first opened up as them like the three uh, they were just talking, and then Hachima was talking about how like uh he counts uh he counts like just like the opening con- like greetings as, as a, a conversation. conversation. And he was talking about how, like, that's why he does it as little as possible. I was like, God damn, I miss this man. That's like, <laughs> that's like, like oh, uh, yeah, it, it was like me before my, before my job. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, uh, so was, was anyone else kind of like, uh, annoyed with the voice change of, uh, Hachiman? Or do you guys like not care for it as much? I was fine with it. I was uh, fine. I, I barely noticed it. Like, everyone just Wow, you're him. fine with someone what just. It? Voicing him, other than oh, that's messed up. It's friend. still him, okay. and you okay. were his oh. original. Wait, 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 fan. It is the same voice actor. It is the Dude. same voice actor. Dude, it's it's, it it's, it's too deep. deep. It's, it's too deep. deep. Okay. It, doesn't it doesn't sound, sound natural. natural. I said the same. I said the same thing to threaten to. I was like, yeah. his voice sounds really weird. I don't remember it like this. Yeah, the only like, reason why it sounds deep and weird is because he he just talks just so monotone, and it's not. No. There's, no like, there's no like. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, like unless he went through puberty, <laughs> like through these past five years or so, from the last time he voiced them. No, no, like the the voice actor himself. <laughs> unless the voice actor himself went through puberty in that five year period that we waited for season three, like that doesn't make any sense. Like the the amount that his his voice tone dropped was, was too much, especially when it's the exact same like school year. Hatchman didn't really like grow up at all. So like I, I don't get <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> like it was like he still. He's still a second Maybe it's the cigarettes getting to this man. I, I 100, 100% just, no. agree with you, Koo. Well, yeah, thought, right? From the it's first just... like, line he said, I was like, that's wrong. I was like, that's that different. can't be. That, this I doesn't mean, make sense. It literally happened right guys. after the end of the last episode. Okay. <laughs> right. It's the teacher's secondhand smoking, okay? Oh, okay. Catching up to him. Actually, okay. I have no idea. I have to like, I have to just go back uh. to a couple episodes in the second season. Because I... I, I I didn't actually notice. I didn't mind it. Like I thought he looked, you know, when it, he just sounded deeper. I just thought like more of, you know, this man is Batman, dude. Like I, I gotta be honest <laughs> with you. Like after rewatching this episode, or after watching this episode, it it bothered me so much that I had to rewatch the whole season one and two just to make sure like I wasn't going crazy. I was like, dude, this this can't be right, right? So I started watching season one, and I was, oh yeah, it is completely different. And then like since I had nothing else to do, I just rewatched the whole series, but. Yeah, like that's how much it bothered me that his voice was different or deeper than it should be. So his voice is still deep in the second season, then? Or sorry, no, it's not. not not even, not even okay. as deep. No, okay. Like I, I thought it was like a different voice actor altogether. But if it's the same oh, guy, that's the same guy. That's it's weird. That's, yeah. that's really weird. Damn. I have no yeah, idea. I knew I, I knew it was the same guy. I could tell it was the same guy. It was more just like he forgot how he used to voice the character. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh god. I don't know if I'm just biased, but I love this man so. Fine. No, I I love the character too, but the voice actor just just threw me off. Oh, his voice is fine too. I like it. It's unnatural, but okay. <laughs> that's that's me. That's just me. So I'm done. All right. Um. I mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> ignore, ignore that. I don't remember how the episode ended, but um. Because after it was, it uh, ended with a preview of next week, and it looks like Iroha is coming oh, back Iroha. in next week. Okay, yeah, because they're. Well, I was saying, wait, who? Iroha, um, the student council is... president, the uh, like the blondish, orangish hair girl. No, oh, I don't know. Yeah. And it, like the, the, the my only problem is I legit know none of the characters. It's been too long. I didn't uh, even know who the fuck the blue haired chick was, but I was like, uh, whatever. No, that's fair because she wasn't. She didn't appear that often, so that makes sense. But Iroha popped up in season two and became like the third possible add-on for the hero. Chick? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, she's annoying. All right, moving on. That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't know. What's I mean, at the same time, they're all annoying, so we can move on. Jeez. That's horrible. We're okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Because okay. I think it's ended with. Because the end, well, the end of this episode, they were in like the cafe, weren't they? And then it was where is that? That was in the middle, and then this was the sibling thing, and I, I kind of forgot what happened at mm-hmm. the end. But uh, basically, they just left it at where Yukino's going back to her apartment, and then she's going to go talk to her and my mom about her so-called future plans. So, oh, okay. Uh, I don't, I don't know if that showed up. What drunk. she's going to? No, she wasn't drunk. Yeah, she was. She was drinking. Although. 
They're high, they're high school students. Oh, they're talking about the old, her older, sister? older sister. Oh, 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 a little tipsy. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, so they're going to figure out what Yukino is going to do. Okay. I think that's where it stops. Okay. Yeah. And then it was the preview with Iroha and like the three in the room. So. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch that. I'm gonna have to relook at that. Then. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I I think that's. I didn't have much else to say. I want Stratton to comment, but he's AFK right now, so. It's right. Duty calls. <laughs> All right. So I guess we'll just leave it there for Snafu. When if he comes back, we'll get back to him. But. So that's gonna be it for Snafu. We're gonna move on next to God of High School. Oh shit, dude! This episode, yeah. oh, it was popping. Brian, like uh, in the beginning. Uh, well, no, Brian, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Not, I was gonna ask Brian, like, how do you, this show, man? How do you feel when, like, the, the end of that first episode, that it, it, it didn't like go right to that? It just like just, just basically like just put off screen, like, oh hey, by the way, <laughs> like he got his ass kicked by uh, by Mira, and that's how like the battle royale ended. Of the show, <laughs> okay. Good. Strong best word. show of the season, dude. Oh, oh Brian, right what do you think of the Tai Chi guy? Oh, dude, he was a badass. Like episode one, this dude was popping out. He was like one v fucking tending people. Counter, counter, counter. This dude one v one's a guy he shouldn't have been talking shit to. Got his fucking shit pushed in so hard. <laughs> oh, so that poor funny. guy. I felt bad for the guy, but I was like, dude. Yeah. He, no, he, he kind of deserved much, it, and I was like, "All right, that's kind of deserved." Yeah, but at least he didn't. At least he didn't bitch out and tap or say he quit. This man True. just took it like a man. Got both his shoulders dislocated. His face was getting stomped on. Almost died, and then the man, the fucking legend, dude, fucking Jin Mori comes in, <laughs> fucking sidekick to the fucking my. Oh my god, Jin Mori is a god. <laughs> what level do you think he is? Dude, he is top tier, max level, boosted as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> pay, to, pay, pay to win. Fucking just born a god. I swear, <laughs> dude. Yeah, the eyes didn't give it away for sure. Total, total dude, god. Dude, but he has a degenerative, whatever the word is, disease, man. He's dying. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> He's kidding. Oh. It was, it was, uh, it was Sasha's text. Oh, it's okay. his fan kick. Or my, or my, pre- my previous week's oh, comment. Okay. Yeah. Um, the animation is animation so good. I mean, I'm still not used to the character models yet. A lot of them uh, have kind of like you know similar similar look to them. But once it gets in like to the like the fighting animation, can't tell. It all looks good. Um, also, I was confused at the beginning first. Like when the first episode first started, I like I didn't like it was, I think it took me a couple of minutes to like actually realize like wait what the hell happened in the last episode with the fight because uh, it didn't actually show that. And then oh, you know, they yeah. kind of refer- they kind of you know show you know showed it and referenced it. I was like oh okay. I guess they're just gonna wait for this this guy and just to to show like what he can do. And I did not expect him to be as nearly as OP as he's been so far. Mm-hmm. Where the guy's just he can just shumpo, you know? Who? Gang? The guy with the dreads? No, main guy. Jin. Oh, uh, Jin Mori. Yeah. Where the guy? Yeah, Jin. Where he's basically just you know appearing and this because where all of a sudden he was like in the ring and like the two other people just kind of look to the right, realize he's gone, and he's he's in the the I, ring. Yeah, with I the, just feel like he left. I mean, it happens to you too. It's like you're so focused on something on the TV, you don't notice somebody leaving the room. See, it's like that, you know. I would think yeah. that's normally true, but this what man is, uh, you know, he has, he's on a pay to win account. So, what do you mean normally what? true, bro? That happens all the time. Jealous, like, bro. I bet you anything. If you're super into an anime or something, or you're watching whatever porn you're watching, you won't notice somebody leaving your room, dude. Nah, usually you're on high alert. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's you. Dude. <laughs> I'm different. Oh, uh, are you? Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I really don't know what to do about the story. Guys, um, what do you guys think of the bracket so far? Um, I, let me let me look so pretty much. Uh, with so we get the three main characters, and then you have Tai Chi guy and the gang guy. So you have Go Gamdo, the Tai Chi guy that got his ass whooped, and then Gang, um, which is the guy with the dreads. Yeah, I I feel like Ga- I get I guess since Jin Mori disrupted the fight, Gang goes on. Yeah, mm. I mean like, I mean Go Gamdo he didn't surrender, so technically the match isn't over. I mean to be fair, that man's not gonna he was not gonna turn that around. Yeah, I don't know. And then Jin Mori he like this... has to talk to the counselors to the main villain. Yeah, but like, I mean 
he was dis- he's gonna be disqualified, or at least I think. So I didn't think much yeah. of the bracket, but no, unless, I'm, I'm sure they'll. Yeah. I'm sure they're, 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 unless they pull the BS, yeah. like like oh you put on a show, let's just put you back yeah. in. How's that yeah, BS? He's already they got the favorite, crowd chanting the his crowd. name. Yeah, you, you you can't have the crowd just you know all of a sudden just jeer if they basically say that this man is eliminated after the what they just saw. No way. Even though, even though in the bracket, like if they do meet a wet in the semifinals, like it already seemed like he kicked this guy's ass so bad that I can't just I can't see him like being a threat in the semifinals unless somehow he gets just like a power spike or there's like some sort of illegal drug that he takes or something like that. Yeah. That you know that can always happen, I guess. So this may be a dumb question, but is this like a there tournament? No no, is this is this a tournament for them to get into the high school, or is it just a tournament in general? This I is a bracket it's... tournament for to get into the god of like basically to get into like the guy was a god of high school bracket or yeah. tournament or whatever, right? It's it's right. School. But oh, into the school. Okay, so it's not just like a, a tournament that they called god of high school, and then if you win, you get a wish. No, granted. I, okay, I'm pretty sure like it's called yeah the god of, like I don't know what the high school name is called, but like it's the tournament to get in. So, yeah, man. Try- Mon- Monwas love their their wishes, apparently. Dude, everyone loves their wishes, bro. Come on, Aladdin. There you go. Look okay. right there. So, so far, it's two for two for you know uh, Monwas. I've been watching or animes yeah, related to them, small and they're both size, bro. Yep. But I'm telling you, 100 percent right now. Oh, so uh, later. Uh, oh, Tower Guy is kind of like a yeah. That's a wish. That is a wish. one one and a half. One and a half. What do you mean? Okay, fine. I was gonna say I thought it was really weird too, like because Mira, like her reason for getting in is because she had to find a successor to the school or to her dojo, her, her family dojo. I'm like, why can't you be the successor? Why is this so much trouble for you? I hate to say it, but it's because she's a chick, dude. <laughs> That's basically what I was thinking too. Like, yeah, sounds a little. Okay, and know. also according to my uh, godly um, your sources, you know, resources. <laughs> This tournament right now is for the wish. There is no high school. They're just oh, calling okay. the tournament oh. the god of high school because everybody, oh, okay. yeah. everybody in the tournament that's fighting is around the high school age. So, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, that yeah, because that made sense. They they never specified it. They just said god of high school tournament. So I, I yeah. But yeah. thank you for your source for clarifying that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not as dumb as I thought I was. Okay, it's okay. It's all good. But okay, that makes sense. So then, uh, I'm guessing after the tur- like, I don't know if you guys are right ahead, but after this tournament, is that is that it then, or like, what's- uh, I mean, it's so I, I I honestly have no idea. Well, like, like the main villain is like the was it Park Mugen or whatever, like the guy with uh-huh. um, like the God the- Palm, yeah, God Palm, Buddha's Palm, whatever. So it's like, yeah, he, like he he's said do something after the tournament then or. Maybe if whoever wins has to like join like his army or whatever. So, okay. He's gonna rig it. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, probably not. This this man seems like he's a uh, uh pretty intense. So we'll see. Okay. Well, uh, you have the the wrestling chick and you, Mira, are gonna fight. Who do you think is gonna win that? Uh, Mira has the okay. armor. Yeah. Really? <laughs> okay. And then what about, what about uh? Bake Seng Chul, the bat kid. Do I love or the bat kid? Han Dei Wai. Dude, I know, <laughs> I know a bunch of uh, Korean here natural students who look just like the bat kid, and <laughs> so I just pictured them. Honestly, I just pictured them like, like with their like their their like their hair and like the Harry Potter glasses, just like with a bat, and just, with just, their Harry with their Harry Potter book too. Yeah, just I, like being the shit of people with bats, just looking. I feel book. like that'd be a shred, you know. Just why would it be me? Why, why would I reading? ever have a book? Yeah. I mean, you fit perfectly, bro. You'd use any means necessary to win, and you have glasses, dude. Okay. And you probably have a red tracksuit somewhere in your closet. <laughs> dude, it's perfect. Why am I always the guy that they relate with tracksuits? Is it just because the Serbian stereotype or what? Do you like, do you have a tracksuit though? That's what I want to know. Do you have a tracksuit in your closet? That's the point. It's <laughs> oh okay. All it's... right. Okay. Because it was the same thing with in God of High School, where uh or not sorry, God, uh, Tower of God, where where I think it was Peter or I think it was Peter that basically related me to the the guy with the tracksuit. I'm like I was like okay why, and then of course that again I'm it's like I'm the guy in this with the tracksuit I guess apparently with even though the guy has a book I would have the bat definitely I don't know why people don't use more weapons in this this tournament. It's too bad for you, Stren. Like you would not be like not looking down while like trying while beating everyone with your bat. Nah. Well, yeah. for one, I would not be holding a book, like I said. I mean, 
So yeah. I want to see more of the, the Bat Kid. Like my favorite um, supporting character so far. <laughs> I'm interested in him definitely. Um, uh, I actually yeah. like the guy that basically just knocks people out with like what is it? Yes, man, with one punch. What? Where Don, like, re- uh, Han Dewey? Didn't he get? Oh, Han Dewey. Sorry, yeah. the wrong name. Didn't he get knocked out though by? Um... What? No, he's the Ooh, other. Han? He's oh. like the he he's like the other fucking MC. Yeah, yeah. It's basically yeah that guy where he's just basically just has like insane punches where it just you know it looks like pretty much the guy that's yeah, trying that, to get money for his grandfather. That, that's not that's not the yes whatever. man though. Your yes man was no, no one cares about the yes man. He fucking died. Yeah, it's trend okay. mentioned him okay, so but, um, okay. Because I'm looking at the bracket, I don't remember names, you guys. Okay, yeah, this yeah, is a, this yeah, it's Han. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll fix the bracket since y'all motherfuckers don't know the name. Okay? I, I, I knew the okay? name. Stran was the one that was confused. So I, yeah, I don't know how in God's name people already know all these character names. The and it's episode name. two. Just remember the first David, name. You're like one syllable. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's just one syllable, man. Okay, Han, man, Han. Okay, yeah. Han, 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 Han. I'll remember it. I got this. Um, Someone's kind of crazy. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> How about take a quick five minute break? No, yeah. I, anyway, no? okay. but I'm I'm interested interested in that guy as well, just because every time this guy's attacked, it's basically just you know, like I said, it's one punch. That's all he needs, thing. dude. Uh, sure. But I can't um, tell who the other guy is though. What? The guy? Oh shit! They're facing, they're, so they're actually facing off against each other next time. What guy? The, yeah, that's the the but the, the bat guy and uh and Hunt. Yeah. That's why I put those two pictures next to each other. Okay, gotcha. Well, no, I, I couldn't tell from this like a, like view. Like, it's All really. Right, you know what? Fuck. How about you make the bracket now, huh? I can't. I can't. I'm not okay. I, it makes sense now. It's it's just you know taking me some time. Yeah, yeah, Brian, don't get mad. Stern is just illiterate, so it's yeah. Okay. So pretty much the bracket that I'm showing is just showed like the characters that I have actually fought so far. Okay, gotcha. So far, so okay, awesome. That awesome. that we care about, yeah. Yeah. And okay. then if David could somehow pull it up on the screen right now. Okay, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, moving on. We'll have to get no, I could, but it'd be, it'd be messy. No, it, no, 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 don't do it, okay. don't do it. it, it might... That was just a signal for Shretton on the pot, on the, his editing. Alright, alright, thank you. He's not gonna what? put it in. Why are you talking to us about my stuff? Okay. That's not put it in. Yeah, he's not gonna put it in. Yeah. But, <laughs> I could be yeah, a drive. Alright, challenge know. accepted, David. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see what I can what I can do tomorrow. What do you guys think is going to be the final two? Is it? I'm assuming it's just going to be Jen versus uh, da- Dawi or Dewi or whatever his name is. Han. Han, yes. Yeah. Jen versus Han. Uh, oh, I actually don't know. Probably, yeah. Um, either that or it's going to be somebody we haven't seen yet, kind of like you know, like the like the bad guy, like the main like last guy, you or whatever. That interrupt the bracket though. Fuck man, I have no idea. No, I just mean like because like. Well, I'm only looking at Brian's bracket that he's that he generously made, where there's a lot of missing people from the pictures, so I don't know who they are. Okay, David, quiet. <laughs> and then the, so I don't know. I think it's it, it'll be like either Han or it's going to be somebody that I'm not seeing on the bracket. No, it, it's got to be. I don't think, Han be, and, I don't think and, it's going to be someone that's not on the bracket. So sorry, it's probably going to be Han. Yeah, and Jin. yeah, but yeah, that would be my that would be my best guess. Hell yeah, dude. The ultimate show off, dude. So think yeah. of this like Naruto, dude. Like they are team seven. And then Jin Mori is like Naruto. And then Han is like Sasuke, right? They're gonna, at the very end, they're going to duke it out. It's going to be a badass. Best animations to win fight of the year, anime of the year. All the awards go into this show until I've heard from sources that the manhwa is fucking trailing off pretty bad but anyways i'm here wow. for the highs okay. right now and then when the lows come i'm still gonna be on that okay. high so it doesn't matter wow i like that energy okay yeah that's good shit hell yeah uh right. that, good. Yeah. yeah i think that's it all right that's gonna be it for god high school um i guess we'll move on next to fire force um Did so with, so Wait. this week was like the real like the real episode one basically where she got she got real um dude this episode just solidified arthur as best character dude, arthur is so yes. In this so yes i love that guy he's so he's, i don't know he's just so awesome king knight arthur <laughs> i think or is it knight king is i don't know what knight it's, king knight yeah. king yeah sure one yeah. of those it's it's ridiculous he deserves a title like it was so Bro, like well it, it was super serious with shinra 
And then Shatter shows up and he's like, all the Kami starts coming in. And like, but it was really, like, it pulled off really well. So I was surprised at that. Like, like I was actually laughing really hard once all the Arthur stuff started coming in. And then the random flashback with his parents, too. Dude, that was like, all of a sudden, like, holy shit, that was a feels bad. <clears throat> and then you know why he gets powered up with delusional, or be, just being delusional, apparently. Well, I mean, they showed yeah, that like before in the first season, but... Yeah. But not to yeah. this extent. Yeah, not know? to the extent of like his backstory with his parents. That was a, uh, that was a, uh, that was pretty depressing. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I still hope they go more in depth with his backstory. But I'm sorry, I'm Ooh, Arthur. Arthur, yeah, yeah, dude, his dad is an awesome man. I respect him, and at the same time, his parents are fucking dickheads for literally abandoning a kid at like the age <laughs> of fucking seven and yeah. saying, "Hey, fucking make believe castles all yours. Take care of yourself now. Peace." Yeah. Hey, we don't know what the reason behind that is yet, though. So you can't say that yet. I mean, they probably got, like, bribed or some shit, so they had to leave or something. I don't know. Bribed with what? No, I don't don't think his parents are like that. That that would be really... uh... Or, like, maybe they they have, like, intuition that they were going to turn into, like, infernals or something. Right, they 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 laugh so that they keep their son safe. Right, so they keep Arthur safe. Yeah, and then they 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 combusted, and then they turn into infernals. Right, but they didn't die. They got captured by whatever the KKK member, whatever the fuck they're called right now in the show. Yeah, 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 the Evangelias, (laughs) and then they 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 captured them. Right, and then (laughs) they're 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 using them, and then later Arthur's big battle, his parents. This show is just gonna end up the child versus the yeah. parent. I swear to God. I can see that too. God damn. Yeah. Not bad. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, the show's it's not afraid to like go depressing. So I would I don't I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if it was like his parents like they just got into debt and then had to like like leave town or whatever. So, but I can see them too. Yeah, just straight up abandoning yeah. him as well. Yeah. I can see them both. They're both really good though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like even before that though, it was just awesome. But sorry, I completely like, skipped like later on in the episode. But um, the blonde chick that was like that they kept she's showing the, that was on the first pillar, yeah. Oh, okay. So she's the first pillar that that was like on Shinra. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So, because yeah, because I had no clue what was happening there. I, I, again, so could be I just forgot. So like the the chick with the other blonde chick that had like the the thing over her eyes. So she's the second pillar. Oh, okay. And then, like, the other guy who was screaming at her, he was saying, is that the first pillar? So, yeah, that was the first pillar that was, like, controlling Shinra. And then, apparently, Sho is the third pillar, and then um, Shinra is the fourth. And then apparently, like, the new one they're talking about is going to be the fifth pillar. Mm, so, I'm, okay. I'm more surprised that all this pillar stuff is, like, is relatively new, I guess, just because, like, they only have, like, four, and it's coming up five, so... Right. Uh, I mean, well, it makes sense now because, like, what what's going to drive the the heroes to actually keep going? So it, it kind of oh, no. makes sense. I'm surprised that, that like the whole pillar, because it sounds like it, because it, it's like it sounds like maybe it just took them forever to find people who have the Adolaverse, but I'm surprised it just it felt like it happened more re- like it's a more recent thing. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Also, yeah, um, right. go ahead. I also want to mention too, like how so in shows like this, like it's. What usually ends up happening is like is like the main religion ends up being fake and like the cult ends up knowing the truth. So I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen here. Like when, especially um with the uh, the fourth the fourth leader too, he was like he was saying he um was it he had not an epiphany. It's like he had the Halloween moment when he was hit with the Adola Bush, and like where mm-hmm. he like he basically cast away like the main religion, like the the sun religion, and he wants to like get burned by like the cult so we're not yeah we haven't even talked more about like the old man like first i thought like when like the first when the fight first started i was like thinking god damn this guy's badass and then he started showing up his uh his uh kink- kinky stuff his, he his, has his darkness side yeah dude but, but the support guy with the whistle like, he's he's <laughs> another one of like my, my yeah. favorite characters as well. honestly i feel like if anybody strands that guy <laughs> like, the guy. Even though he hates <laughs> bards, like, it's weird, right? Because Shren, Shren, like he is the thing that he hates the most. He just loves <laughs> buffing everybody. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, he'd be I, the bard. He'd be the guy playing the flute in the background of the party. I would be. And I would be hating it, but I would be the guy doing it. Yeah, he. Um, would, it's like a love hate, you know. <laughs> 
But like when that guy just busts out the whistle, whist, the, the whistle, and he started having just his like buff magic and healing and everything, it's like damn. I was like, how often do you see like these type of abilities? And I just he's he's probably like my uh, probably my third, second or third favorite, third favorite character because Shinra is so bad. You know, like all the so. power so far, like they're somehow related to like either fire or like atoms, like 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 yeah. atoms, molecules, or chemistry. I have no idea what the hell how that whistle is related to fire or atoms, it was or whatever. Awful. And the, the whole little play too they had basically where everybody had, like was the, oh, night, yeah, the, the RPG party. Like basically it was just more of like just Arthur's like just uh thoughts. I'm thinking they have like the whole this I don't know like the, everything that they did with this episode I thought was just awesome. Just ba- it just basically brought you up like back in like and of course yeah. and then like I went from like hating Arthur so much in like the first half of the first season to basically him, him being like my favorite character. Just like does he just coming in at the clutch, and he just would not expect Dude, this guy to like, do it. He like withstood like the the Shinra like Jet Force like kick. Yeah, oh, yeah. powers his delusions. And he, but it, like I, I love the, I love the guy, but he should not be this strong, dude. Like it took Shinra so much to get to this point where he's like super strong, and he's in a demon form, so he I guess he's even more strong than usual. But due to his delusion, Arthur is even like stronger than he is at this point, which. Like on a power level scale, it doesn't make yeah, any it sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It, so I thought that was kind of weird. It showed how intense his delusions are, though. Exactly. Know? That's what makes him so good. But it, it's just not fair. Like, even with plot armor or whatever, like, it just doesn't make sense. You no, know? I, I get it, too. Think, so when they were showing, like, the back, you know, like the back or the, the flashbacks of his parents and everything, do you think that was what um, Arthur was seeing? Or do you think that's just what we were seeing? What, what do you mean? Do you, think, like, Arthur was, do you think Arthur was, like, thinking back to those times? Or do you think. And then they like helped him with like you know yeah. his delusional powers, or do you think that was just like something that only the viewers get to see? No, I think time? that's I think that's something he was thinking about because I believe uh, when that one guy, uh, like the the old captain of the the fourth orphanage or whatever, mm-hmm. he was like, man, like who knew like being delusional would make you so strong? Like how are you so strong? And then I think that's what triggered him to think about his his family, mm-hmm. about why he wants to be a knight, why it's oh, so cool, gotcha. blah blah yeah. blah. But yeah, that, that was probably like one of my favorite scenes in in Fire Force. Um, uh, yeah, dude, I don't I, know. Even, even like the like the the like the crazy power spikes and stuff. I've watched Dragon Ball Z. I don't care anymore. It may, it's, it just happens. Um, I don't know. I just I just thought it was it was awesome. And I'm really glad though, um, that they, you know, it was the first time that we got to see. Oh shoot, what is her name? The cat girl Tamaki. Is that her name? Yeah, Tamaki. Tamaki. Yes. So. It was the first time where we got to see her, and it was not some s- just stupid itchy moment. Like oh, it was legitimate. Was she, like she was able to. Wait, was she in this episode? I don't even remember. It might, it might have been the first episode that I'm thinking of, but it was like when uh, you know they were walking the streets and stuff. Oh, yeah, that was the yeah, first. it was the first. Yeah, yeah. The first episode. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so sorry, but it was like so. So far, we're two episodes in, and we haven't seen any just stupid itchiness. So I'm hoping that they're going away from that, and then where they're not trying to pull it out. I'm just hoping that they just try to make it more yeah. natural as possible. Well, we did get some itchiness. We got the calendar with everyone with the double Corba. Oh, yeah. that was awesome too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was for the females, not for the guys. Or I guess it was for the guys, but it's okay. for friend. Brian would be uh, Brian would be the cover on the on the the calendar. So, oh, no, yes. Yeah, at this point, Brian, <laughs> we're old. You're the only hope. So am I, dude. <laughs> so, do you guys have like any guess as to who this new pillar is going to be? Because I would assume it's um, someone that they know of already, right? The one so that they showed in the preview. Shinra mentioned that like it looks like Iris. So I'm assuming she used to be like a nun, or like she, or not what like, was a sister, or she was maybe at the same, um, like like church school that like Iris and Ivana was at. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's like a relative. Like I don't know. If it's, I don't think it was a twin. I don't think it looks exactly the same. But I'm assuming like maybe it's related to Iris somehow. Or yeah, she was like a sister. I can see that. Yeah. And maybe mm-hmm. she like. Are you saying like are you are saying sister like her blood sister or like none, sister, like non sister? Non sister. Okay. I don't think she's yep. play on words there, brother. Yes. <laughs> but Shinra just said it looked like Iris, but like I didn't think it was like a twin or anything. So. Hmm. Okay. But she, and she also, oh, and she also looks young, so like that, that's why I'm kind of thinking maybe it's from like the the church school. Okay. Yeah, I, I would guess like from like the, just the previews and stuff, unless it's just one of those bait things where they think it's her, but then they like they you know join the team and then they find out that she's not one of them, and then you know, like the true one shows up later. 
Are you talking about the pink haired mm. chick? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Sorry. I should have. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I feel like the opening to this, uh, to like this season, kind of like ruined it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Those are openings, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's possible. Still going to watch them. I got I to gotta know those songs. <laughs> you and your aimer. Uh, fake aimer, sir. No, that's sword this art. A... This is real aimer. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's we'll right. Talk about I'm already getting faded. I can't remember. Yeah, we'll talk about that next. But um, I hope it keeps up the uh, the pacing in the future show because this, this episode had, was like really good for like how mm-hmm. they delivered on like the action and the comedy. So. Oh, yeah. And story. Yeah. Story was uh, really good too. I don't know. I feel like they're setting the bar up too high with Arthur. It's probably going to come down a little bit. <sighs> it, it's then... going to have to. Arthur's too good, so <laughs> it's it's naturally it's going to have to come down. But... Yeah. So, it, I no, I mean, it's fine though. The, the, the episode had everything. I mean, basically, like how David said, action. It was a like story, uh, character development, and everything. Maybe this mm-hmm. season they'll comedy. Maybe they'll uh, fa- actually have Tamaki redeem herself instead of just like, you know, have that one moment and then go back to the way she was. And then getting saved by Shin. Yeah. So. I I have more faith in this man than our next show we're talking about. <laughs> so. Don't forget. It's, At least I think it's because it's a Soul Eater mo- uh, author. So. Yeah, I'm assuming our next show is. Is it that one? It's sort of. Am I yeah. right? Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, I well, guess we'll, we'll end it here for Fire Force and then we're more on the Sword Art because holy shit. It, I'll, let you, I'll let you open up with this one. Oh, uh, my you had fucking some God. Words. Like. <laughs> Woo, what? baby, that scene. Dude, what's with this author? <laughs> like, <laughs> always having rape. Like, so I guess what? Like, every single main girl in this show has gotten, like, like sexually assaulted by someone. Like every season now, and what the that hell? Like, like, mango, she, and, so. and like, in Leafa, she was just like, she was like, just staying there, she's like, just being helpless. And she was saying to the like, the pig guy, like, like, don't, I'll be fine. And then, like, later, she just like jumps out and just like slices open the, the witch. I'm like, so, so you waited all this time to get your blood sucked <laughs> and like get like tentacles all around you just to like at the last second just show that you could have just done it any time, really. Really, Giggity. sword art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was, it's not even just like the main characters. It also was a, in the first season of Alicization, where it was like those other two, like the you two, know, side the two, the two yeah. like yeah, the other yeah, even just more. Like, and it's just like, it's like still this guy just has no other way of, you know, doing anything, like, for like these scenes. Apparently, like, like we it, apparently he thinks the only way to make like make someone a villain and make us hate them is just make them really creepy. Yeah, apparently there's apparently there's, it's just basically like evil to be evil, which yeah. is like the worst. It's which is the worst one. But this and author, like the easiest, yeah, yeah. He only knows the, he only knows how to either make psychopaths or like rapists, basically. Yeah, and it's which are like pretty much like in like the anime slash manga stuff. It's like the easiest villain to make. It's like it's just it, but it's I don't know. He did it every single time. This is the fourth yeah. season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I know. Like, what the hell? Cool. Do you still defend the show? Oh, I love it, bro. What are you talking about? This <laughs> show God. is perfect. Get the hell out of Just here, man. You're, you're the reason why I have to watch way, this what shit. What? Hey, hey, don't. Don't. Don't put me on blast, right? Because I know that you guys love it just as much as I oh do. You just can't God. get enough. That is why we're still watching it, all right? See, just because I'm, they have one incident. Yeah, dude, I'm a cool man. This show is amazing. I love it. <laughs> Shut oh, up, yeah, dude. I fucking love it, dude. So, Brian, your thoughts on on uh, the uh, what we were talking about? Uh, I don't know if you I heard. Know, it, I, I had a phone call. Oh, okay, so recap real quick. Recap. Talk about, recap. Talking about the Leafa incident with the tentacles and stuff. Man, fuck this show, dude. That was so <laughs> unnecessary, man. Wow. <laughs> like, 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 I I know I should expect it to come, but when it does, I'm like, yo, <laughs> that's like what we were this, saying. Like this, no, this the writer of this show. He literally has like a rape fetish. I swear That's to God, what we're saying it's, this yep, is the fourth season. Dude. Every <laughs> single time it's happened, like, and now like all dude, the main girls have gotten like sexually assaulted at one point. Like, bro, stop! <laughs> you don't need to. You could do something else that doesn't involve you, someone you getting can't fucking stop, Brian. sexually you, harassed. You can't stop oh. it. <laughs> For for like, villains, for villains, that's one way. His other villain, oh is, his other villain is basically just psychopaths, where they just you know use screwdrivers and just take out other you know where the 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 child just takes out another child with a screwdriver. Yeah, see, it could be worse. Like she could have had a screwdriver driven to her head, and you oh know. Like... Apparently, for how strong Leafa's account is, I don't think that would have happened. 
I mean, how the fuck is she even in this situation? Doesn't have a god <laughs> account? Like what? Yeah, they all have so god accounts. Like, yeah, they all have god accounts. Yeah. So how the fuck did this random ass NPC manage to do this? Well, because she her excuse was she didn't know what was going on, so she was just yeah. gonna let it happen. She then, sure. Apparently, she didn't want to kill anyone yet without knowing what's gonna without happen. Knowing for sure, yeah. even though she but, was just you know basically just you know strangled with yeah tentacles and basically just you know life life force or whatever was draining from her. But guys, if you're if you're a good guy, you need to know for sure before you commit any murderous acts. Of course, you're gonna uh, like no, let if, it play out. If people are putting their funny. tentacles in me, I'm slicing the thing. <laughs> I'm slicing the shit out of yeah. them. I don't understand. Like she was like, I have to resist. Exactly. What? There you go. It there makes zero go. sense, though. Well, what if you were in the wrong? Like, what if you just popped in and then you're in uh, the wrong? No, so, I'm getting sexually assaulted yeah. okay, here. No, 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 no. That's not what popped in, right? I see this fucking ogre orc, whatever they call it. For some reason, it's not. It's something. And you're like, yeah, you're best friends with that. And then randomly, a fucking person just sneak attacks up on you and then wraps you up and then just tries to sexually assault you. And then you're going to be like, I have to endure this assault. No. you fl- Like, six flags have already been thrown. Dude. <laughs> Stop and just whoop their ass. Yeah. At that, at that point, it's basically like, right when you see like them first coming for you, it's it's basically that. I think that's... Like, like, I, I can understand like, the ogre part, but like, oh yeah, let's just make friends. Like, uh, that shows Leafa's like, attitude. She's very friendly and shit. But as soon as this bitch came out of nowhere and fucking wrapped you up, it's like, I right, no. I'm, that's a big no-no. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, dude, oh, I'm so tilted, dude. I hate this show. <laughs> I'm actually so tilted. Like, why, why go that far of, like, like doing that? The like, author, man. Just choke he her out, he dude. can't help it. You know? Like, you could have choked her out and it been exactly the same without all the extra shit. All right, well, oh, no. the, the silver lining is this, is that if he has to have one per season, at least it's out the way, right? Oh, that's what so you think. From this I mean, point, that's so from this think. point on, I we mean, are the, just going. Like, right? The thing is, didn't this happen in part one of the season? Yeah, the two yeah. the two other girls, yeah. the two other um, yeah. school girls. Yeah, so what the fuck? If we're, con- if we're, if we're like, the whole season in general, it already happened. Why put it in again? Unless you have to do it by part, if that's the reason. <laughs> again, it's <laughs> author. I don't know. And also, Ku, you forgot that, like, uh, the Emperor Vector guy, he still needs to suck the soul out of Alice, so that can also get creepy. That'll make it sexual in some way, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, like, what uh, the fuck? Did this. <laughs> I, uh, that's a real uh, question. <laughs> like, I really want to know, David, since you're our resident, like, Reddit warrior, um, <laughs> has, like, has anyone said anything about, like, the, what we're talking about? They, I mean, yeah, like... It's it's so weird too. It was like because like the top comments like they actually they talk about everything about else about the show. We have to go to like the middle of the thread to find someone who finally mentions like, dude, this is like sh- sh- sexual assault is so fucked up. Why does this always happen? And then there's more people saying, you know, I'm a fan. I, I'm a fan of the show, but even I'm like sick of this sexual assault shit. shit. So it's like, it's okay, much, man. like at least we're not alone. Okay? Like at least at least, well, at least the entire at least not the entire audience of the show. <laughs> Are a fucking bunch of degenerates yeah. and are okay. Well, with I mean, it. like, yeah, it, it's good, it's there, but like, it still took me, like, it should be in the top comment, but it wasn't. That's like the worst part. <laughs> so. Dude, it's never gonna be a top comment. Those are gonna be just drowned it out um, by other just pointless top comments about talking about how good the show is. So, like, what was the top comment of this episode? I, I really want to know. Like, just talking about, like, the sh- other parts of the show, like, how, oh, look how nicely animated it is, and the whole Sword Art's back, it hyped. Like, yeah, yeah, so the usual. Yeah, yeah, get hyped, guys. It's back. Yeah. Like, and it's whole oh glory. God. Like, what the oh fuck? Even, nothing even happened in the first part. We got some bad English. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Usually, oh, usually, usually, usually I'm very okay with the bad English, but this one was just Dude, bad. Dude, like, you didn't say, you didn't say, say like a Dude. straight six words. <laughs> when I heard that, I laughed so loud. I was like, oh my fucking god, this is so bad that it's like, I can't stop laughing at how bad yeah. this is. This is so That was my favorite part of this episode. When I heard this, I was like, well, David's gonna hate the wor- it. No, the worst part is like, I saw the subtitles, so I was, I was expecting what the subtitles were saying. And then when they didn't match up, like, I was just laughing so hard. Like, I was, oh. I could not, I think I had to pause that moment too, just to, have, to control oh, myself god. because of how much I was laughing and how bad that was. God, that was, that was so good. Sorry, what, what, were the, what were the words? What were the words that the voice actor said? 
All, the only part I remember is this game sucks. This game sucks. Like, no. Yeah. And when he said that, I was laughing. I was just thinking to myself, God damn, this show just is terrible, man. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. That was and, that was a lie. <laughs> it was so good. That, that, that was definitely like the best part. Um, I don't I don't know if you see, uh, like if they didn't have the the fucking like sexual assault in it, that would have been like the highlight of this. <laughs> This episode, but we have to talk about the sexual assault first. Uh, yeah, it made me completely forget about the English part, and I love those moments. Yeah, that they're just oh, I enjoy them and so much. The only other thing that happened was basically like uh, the fight with like um the, the other guy, the the first night, the black, oh, right, right. The blue armor oh, guy oh, against the man. Hey, one second, uh, Brian, can you find the can you find the picture of just like also the the whole English the whole English yeah, part? Yeah, I'm working on okay. it. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. I'm just saying, dude. I. The, the fucking blue knight man i feel so bad for the guy he's so know. cool like this guy is like fuck kirito this dude is my favorite character yeah. and they're about to kill him off man you know how upset i am he has some broken ass abilities like he's he's pretty op and of course the other guy just has the power of darkness which just wins yeah like what the oh also fuck? let's say well we'll talk more we'll talk about the the fight because i have one thing i also you bring up this friend Same. but like okay. Remind me too, like when we go over it, because there's one part I want to bring up as well. But yeah, no, no, like, I mean, is he is he gonna die here, or is he gonna get saved by like by Sheenon or something? Like, I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much dead. He as he just as it is. Like, the way the, the way this author does with with characters, if they if they really don't have any kind of like story, they're dead. Uh, I think they'll probably show like you know a little bit of his flashbacks of his story, and then just kill him off. Like it's 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 pretty predictable what this guy does. Um, if, I mean, if they somehow save him and he doesn't die, it's gonna just blow my mind. Um, but I just assume he's dead. Um, but it's like when you see the when you see the, like this guy's power, like his like his just broken abilities. Like, how the hell did Kirito and uh, and Yu-Gi-Oh. and Yu-Gi-Oh beat these guys? I don't like, remember. There's, yeah, there's no way. Well, because I remember, I think he froze him. I think, but I think, it, it, it's, it's I don't think they, Yu-Gi-Oh they, froze him. I think yeah, it was just a draw. Like they probably froze him and then they left. I think. Yeah, they did. But at the same time, like, how do you beat this guy? Like, this guy basically stops time. He has, like, crazy abilities. And then it just seems like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kirito are so weak compared to, like, these other knights. And then it's just, like, how did, in the first place, did they even win? Uh, power of love and friendship, sir. Oh, God, I know. Uh, That's another thing that they're building up towards, too, which is another David's favorite. Because <laughs> you can already kind of tell, like, just hinting when they're just basically seeing Kirito, and they're just blessing him with the power, you know, like, his friendship powers, and then just, you know... The opening. The- Yes, and the waifu army builds up. No, when when uh when Shinon when, <laughs> when Shinon went to go uh you know see Kirito. Oh my god, that's Taki, what I want to talk about, man. Kirito, Kirito had just a little bit of a twitch, like he's you know he's you know it's bringing him to life. Okay, okay, I'm heated again, dude. I didn't remember <laughs> that part. When this when the whatever her name Shinon comes up, I was like, oh okay, cool. She's she's hugging her fucking best friends as in a coma, right? And then kisses some in front of Asuna. Asuna. I'm like. What the? Fuck I know, right? Is, and she's Fred. okay with it. Yeah, yeah, it's, just, it's just a cheek kiss. It's fine. Dude, that's it just a, no, you don't cross that line, bro. <laughs> Dude, that's his fucking Dude, wife. Kiss him. What? Not in front Get of your wife. Here. That's just weird. Also, it's also weird that when she introduced herself as Kirito's friend, the two like apprentices started crying. It's like, what? What'd you expect? Does dude have a dude friend? No, they're all gonna be chicks, man. <laughs> I don't know if they're crying at the fact that this man's still in a coma, hey. or the fact that another one of Kirito's friend is a chick that just kissed him in front of everybody. No man, dudes, dudes aren't allowed in this. Yeah, except so it's Klein, and of course, like in their thirties. Yeah, no, dude, we got Klein at the last, the last um, shot. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, he does have a male friend, I guess, which is Klein. So yeah, but yeah oh, and any hammer guy. Yeah, he has guy, a borrower. Yeah. Yeah. Or bar owner and blacksmith. Yeah, no, no, he's bar owner. Never mind, I'm confusing. But yeah. Uh, it's uh, I don't know. It's just it's also like no, we're kind of you, you, you need to tell us why is she kissing we're, Kirito in front oh, of his wife. Oh, I don't know. Apparently, it's you know he's he's just basically a vegetable. It could be the last time you know he's he's a thing. But then they of course then they bring up the fact that basically it's like oh he'll wake up right when we need him. I'm like yeah that's what's gonna happen. You know, See at least for, uh, at least they realize that you know that that's good. It's good. At least they realize what's going to happen. So. Well, I mean, we we all know at this point this this uh, this author is uh, doesn't really have anything that really he can just pull out of his ass. I would I think blow over our minds away. Again, way. like people on Reddit are like hyping up this arc is like the best arc, you know, like the best sort of arc. This is where like he finally you know improves his writing, 
and nah. stuff. And it's just, like, God damn it. Like, just because the arc is long doesn't mean it's good. I wonder if people are confusing it because of that. Well, I wonder if this, if all these rape scenes are actually in a light novel or the manga, or he just threw it in the anime. No, because sure it feels in there. In there cause he, he had apologized to like the voice actresses for a certain part because it was like in the stuff. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I can easily see it being in the books. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't think they're gonna just like throw it in four or five different times, like David said, in the anime and have it not it's, being in the books. I don't think, really I don't think it's something that the anime studio just decide that it's a good idea to put in. I'm pretty sure it came from the source material. Hey, I, I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not an executive. I'm not a like manga author or whatever. So I don't know. Maybe but, it, maybe it sells. <laughs> maybe that's why they threw it in there. Who knows? Yeah, let's see. Go to the thing, and then the guy, or like the like the the it was the the this, the person who decides the stuff, and he just goes, "Hmm, we need more rapey scenes." Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But God, what that that guy's English is the best. Oh, I'm going to log out soon. Basically, he's going to die. What a bitch. Ah, well, okay. Other other than shitting on the show, um, what did you guys think about Klein's entrance? Yeah, whatever. Um, nice. Fucking badass. Sure, Best that's guy. Cool. Better than Kirito. <laughs> GG. Yeah. I mean, it was cool, but we're still like forgetting about the fact that they that they're like all these people are just coming and bringing in their their uh their like their characters from different games they're basically just like going cross hey you know, man they're, cross, they're cross, sacrificing cross, cross. their game not not ignoring the fact that they might get stuck there and might and their pain levels yeah. might you know be turned on so they could still feel incredibly pain the the worst the most like important thing is that their their save data might be deleted if they die in the game yeah bro the thing is that they're still bringing like items and weapons and stuff from other worlds that should really not even like be a thing in this game or this world like this guy's just basically making it just seem like it's just it's just easy. Like there's yeah, no issues. He's like, oh, he basically saying that like everything is is from like is from the original like Einkred. Like it's like a fucking like Unreal Engine or something. That's yeah. like a sandbox. <laughs> the whole entire thing is just a giant sandbox. Yeah, with everything. Good. I mean, in this in this man's mind who doesn't play games, I can exactly. see that. Exactly. Doesn't play games. Doesn't play uh, MMOs. Doesn't know. <laughs> doesn't know how to write oh, female oh, characters. He- he plays something all right. <laughs> oh like, how does like how does like a show like this become this popular from a guy who doesn't know games? Like it doesn't make any sense. Really because... car- it, this show is literally getting carried by the very first season, dude. Basically, like you had the first season just pop sure. off, and you get the people who who just want it to work, so they yeah. they stay on and stay on, and you know. Yeah, I uh, yeah. I'm, I'm basically with David and and Brian at this point. Like I I just want Lock Horizon. I need database. <laughs> like I'm just like honestly like I was like I was hating on the second season pretty hard mainly just because I hated the bard in that show but it's just like now I just I'm just you want, I just want, you like, want that kill. now you now I'm you like realize I'm back I'm back realize, the wagon. you realize the role of a bard and how much you identify with it so you're oh, okay no. With it now. <laughs> no I no I still hate the bard but I like, uh, I like the you're stuck overall. with that role dude. whatever uh, Strand gets to be a dancer okay. in fourteen anyways. <laughs> Just give me my whistle. Give me my whistle and fine. I'll take no, it. Trans, trans dancer in 14. Well, fine, fine. Make me a dancer and just give me a whistle. We're good. Oh, God. I'll dance. <laughs> All right. Are we going to shit talk anymore? Are we, we going to shit talking or uh, we can oh, easily no. pick this up next week, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah we can easily pick it up okay. next week. All right. <sighs> so that's our weekly <laughs> shit on sort art. This is a callback to the first season of the podcast that we had this. So we're back at it again. For honestly, for our conversation and discussion, I'm I'm with Ku. I'm excited about this show. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yep. Because it basically that that episode just kind of opened it up. Oh, it's just like okay, this is why we were missing this show. Oh boy. So at least, so at least, sorry, is fun to shit on, but yeah, it is. So that's that's it for our weekly show. Short art. We don't have. No, I, honestly, oh, before we end it, I'm just upset at this point. I'm not, it's not even funny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Show. I'm just Sword generally Art. upset at the show. Sword Art, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> upset about, but Shokugeki, I'm going to be very upset about. Okay. Because it's actually a show I really liked. Actually, I liked the first, like, overall, like, besides, like, the Elf arc. I actually did, like, uh, not, not many people liked the Gungale arc. I actually thought it was awesome because I liked it, know, yeah. it was Shinon, even mm-hmm. though they had, like, the, you know, the, you know, again, the rapey stuff at the end of it. But uh, like I still thought it was I still thought it was solid. But then later on, I started like going through stuff and actually realizing 
how bad the show was, then I started just like seeing it and then just realizing how bad the show is. And I can't see it in any other way. And I can't take it serious. Yeah. And I laugh and I laugh at and I laugh at bad, bad English, but it's my favorite part. <sighs> okay. so good. Right, we can move on now, David. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> we always have time to on sort art. So I just want to mention the yeah, no Chokugeki this week, but episode three comes out uh this Friday. So next we'll week. be continuing where it got delayed from last season and we can talk about our more disappointments so see uh, this is good that, that's just gonna be a depressing talk though it's basically like it's, it's basically just like talking to your child like your dog just died like it's basically like the equivalency of this that's what it's gonna be talking about this show uh, yeah maybe it's gonna be it's gonna be sad come on guys give it a chance maybe i'll knock your socks off we gave it two episodes already <laughs> Shit on it after two episodes so. <laughs> yeah yeah I, yeah, basically, I, I first was having issues with the first episode, but I re- but then I remember we were saying give it a chance, and then episode two came, and then we're like, Ugh. <laughs> it was over. Yeah, but we'll save that for next week. Yeah. We'll save that for next week. Yeah. So, and then I'm just gonna talk a little bit about Decadence because like, because I watched it and Sasha watched it too, so I don't know if he's gonna talk about it later, but I'll talk a little about Decadence, yeah. and then after that, I'll open up for anyone if you want to talk about any other shows that aired this season so um i guess like because so a little bit of decadence um apparently like the director is the same director from mob cycle but this is anime original so so we'll see how much that'll play into it but basically it's like this sci-fi world kind of reminds me of grin the gone where it's like they're in this like moving fortress and they have to fight against like these invading monsters and um and it's like it's not just humans who is there's like other races and the other race gets to fight the monsters and most of the humans don't or only the strongest human and so most of the humans end up being support like they're like the mechanics or like like uh the main so the main this main girl she she's basically just like cleaning the walls of the fortress that's like her job for like five years but but then of course she gets you know caught up in like she get gets trapped outside and she's and she gets caught up like in the fight. She doesn't do any fighting herself. It's like her boss, like the older guy, he's like the secret OP that because he's also he's the one like tr- training her to be um cleaning like the wall the outside walls. But then like he you know reveals that oh hey he's actually super strong. And he can like use the equipment that the other fighters can use and he takes out a bunch of monsters. And then like it and the way they f- they fight the giant monster like it's really weird that the the, the fortress like transforms. Has this, this giant fist that comes out and just just punches the hell out of the monster, and that's how they defeat it. So, like, see how's the, how's the CGI? <laughs> I mean, ask them the real questions now. Yeah, it's like it's that's whatever. What matters, it's whatever. Like it's, it's. I mean, it's. I mean, I think it was that bad. Like it didn't stick out as much. So. So would this be considered an anime original or a CGI original? Anime original. Most of the shows an- anime. It's just like the monsters. Okay. They're CGI. But again, like that was like it, that was just, the monster came out at the end, so it was like a small part of the episode. So I didn't really pay too much attention to it. So um, I'm interested in like the story and where like the I'm interested in the world and see where it's gonna go. With, like how how they're um, gonna like introduce. I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna set up the main the main girl to like be a fighter because in the backstory too, it shows like her dad was like. I think either fighter or support. I forgot which one, but he ends up dying. He says that she died, so I think that's like one of the reasons why she wanted to be a fighter, but she couldn't. She couldn't become one. That's why she has to clean the walls. So, and then also interested. To see, yeah, so also interested to see yeah why like you know why is there only like this one fortress city left and why are all these monsters? Why is it you know why is it so dangerous outside and why keep attacking these monsters? And so I'm interested to see where it goes. So. So and maybe I guess if Sasha comes in later, you can give more bounce back because like that that's basically the first episode. So so that's just the little short rundown of Decadence. Um, so I'll open up up the, the panel if there's any other shows you want to talk about. I mean, there's other shows I'm watching. Do I want to talk about them? Do you want to talk about it? Um, like, are you, any of you guys watching Quintessential Quintuplets? What? That's not this That's season. It's not airing this season, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Cyber Beast Mobile Puppy. I actually wow. dropped that. Sh- I, I dropped the first season, though. I think I watched like four episodes. I'm like, yeah, eh. it's not that this, this, 
the manga for that actually won a Shonen Award. Like a buddy, oh. my my resources told me this, and I was so <laughs> shook. I was like, "What the? Uh, fuck? I know it's popular people in Japan. Good. I, yeah, my, maybe maybe good. one that award for sales. I don't know about quality. It's probably quality. Like, <laughs> well, it, I don't know about the manga, but the anime was not that. Like the animation was like normal. I guess it, was, I it wasn't that bad. It was alright. Yeah. I'm not hating on it. It's just oh, yeah. I, 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 I know, I, middle of the road. I know it's popular in Japan, so. Okay, my other shows though that if there are there any that I, well there I am watching some trash shows yes um, am I going to continue those shows yes <laughs> but okay. do I want do I want to talk about them I don't know yet um let's see mm-hmm. I can at least reference some of the ones I guess I'm watching um I'm still watching superheroes the opening song is the best so far this season really I I'm obsessed with that I, song. I didn't think it was I think that. it's pretty good I mean it's it's, it's pretty good I mean it okay. You know, okay, it's like Kirito's voice actor plays everything, and this man sings, and he's in the voice, and he's he's in the intro song with um, uh, Burnout Syndrome, the lead singer from Burnout Syndrome. Kirito is basically the bad part of the song, so if you uh, just cut him out, it's actually a pretty good song. No, it's so good. What are you but talking it's still about? solid. It's <laughs> solid, and uh, the the story the story is actually like. It kind of reminds me of um God, like it's ridiculous. Like the ridiculousness of the story kind of reminds me of um uh that uh that that anime that was like uh where bad jokes were outlawed. Do you remember David what that show was oh, called? Oh, the you mean the dirty the, the dirty jokes? Yeah, Shimoneta. Yeah, Shimoneta. Yeah, oh, it, yeah. It, it kind of reminds me of that where they just fight like they just fight like ridiculous enemies. In the sense, like in this one, they're basically like just fighting bugs that are just like where they just like they take the resources of like basically. Was it libido away? Yeah, yeah, yep. And then they basically then they, there's like five teenagers that fight these things because of course they're teenagers, so they they have a bunch of libido and they're able to use it as powers. And apparently there's one chick in the show that's so damn horny that she has unlimited power, yep. unlimited power. But she was so scarred as a child that she acts normal now. So even though she's still you know raging inside. Yep. And another show. Okay. Another great. Uh, Another stress show. That I'm actually enjoying that. It's it's ridiculous. It's just another one of those just things that I it's I, I'm just gonna watch it. Um, another one that a garbage one I'm watching is Peter Grill. Did not know that the sh- episode was only 12 minutes long, but it makes it even easier to watch because it's so short. So and then it's just again, uh, I'm liking superheroes more than this one. This one is just like basically some dude's a champion and just everything wants to get with him because yeah. apparently they need strong babies. Yeah, because there's really no story. It's just all fan service. So, yeah. yeah. And it's very short. David, your thoughts on the sh- episode? Dude, I watched it when I was hungover, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> all right. Next, right. right? No? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want um, to like, be hungover and watch like an, an actual important show. So, if I didn't want to do anything else, I was on my bed. It's like... Okay. Uh, Fair enough. Best, best time to watch it. Yeah. Um, well, uh, another show I was I watched was, <laughs> or the first episode was for uh, Monster Girl Doctor. That was pretty awful. Um, yeah, that was pretty bad. I was really. I'm so surprised. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. The other show that has Monster Musume with this title was awesome, and so I'm thinking, okay, if I can get that back for this, that would be awesome. It was not bad, so that was uh, disappointing. I'm going to give it probably only one more episode. And if it's still just terrible and lame, um, that will probably be the fir- the first uh, X uh, show for me this season. Is it supposed uh, to be like the same universe? No. Oh, God, no. It's a whole different oh, thing. Yeah. yeah, it's a whole different thing. It's a fancy so it's more, of like, it's more of like, oh, Monster Girls? Sure, I'm in. And it was, uh, so far, it's no. It's a no for me. But uh, and I'm also... Ki- I'm also caught up with Digimon still. I'm I am still watching oh, that. You, what do you I, think so far? I, I mean, it's they're up to they um they still was episode six. They still don't have the entire cast yet. I think it was Mimi um, this time. Was it? Yeah, Mimi was this episode. Next episode is the guy with the walrus. Uh Joe. Joe. I Joe. Know, I don't know his name was. But English, we'll go with Joe. English, was Joe's Joe. fine. Okay. Uh yeah. So next episode is Joe. So they still don't have the entire crew together. You know. Um, I don't. Of- Instead of watching Digimon Adventures, you could go on Hulu every week and just watch one episode of the old school Digimon. Yeah, <laughs> good one. But then I couldn't basically, but I couldn't talk about the now, man. I'm discussing no one else it now. Is about the now, David, does it matter? I'm still gonna do it. That's fine. Um, as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters, you know. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Um, I definitely think the uh, from the first couple episodes, uh, I, I do, I do think the animation has dipped 
in these last few episodes. Like, it just doesn't seem as, as like, a, like, because I was first surprised in the first two episodes. I was like, damn, this, like, this show is actually pretty good animation. And then these last couple episodes, like, hmm, yeah, this is what so, I about the classic, expected. like, three episode bait. Yeah, Black Clover. Um, <laughs> that got me. And I'm 100%. Hey, and hey still... it took Black Clover like 50 episodes or so to drop in quality, all right? Uh, you, you need to relax. No, 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 no. It's way too many. I'm pretty sure I started hating this show like in the in the 20s. I think. I don't oh. remember. Yeah. I don't know. I remember complaining to David and Brian. I'm like, yeah, the show sucks. <laughs> yeah, I hear you on that. Um, but I believe that is all the shows I'm watching this season. So I will leave it up for anybody else who has thoughts. I actually have a trash show that I'm picking up. All right, Ooh. let's hear it. It hasn't aired yet. The first episode airs on Thursday this week, uh, but it's based off of a mobile game, mobile Ultima game, a Chinese one called uh, oh boy. here. In, yeah, I, yeah. Here in America, it was called Mister Love Queen's Choice, and the anime is called Koi to Producer. Oh it's probably not going to be good, but the game seemed like it was going to be all right. It was more just like the mechanics of the game that were pretty terrible that made me drop it. But the concept seemed pretty good. Like the art, the music, the concept were all really good. It was literally just the gameplay that was lacking. But since it's like a Chinese otome game, I, I don't know. We'll see how the anime turns out. But yeah, that's my trash show that I'm picking up. I'm shocked they're making an anime for it. Oh, it must be good if they're making an anime, right? I don't know. We'll find out. I'll let you know on our next podcast when I think <laughs> of the first episode. Gotcha. Anybody else? Uh, shows that you're not telling us about? Well, I'm watching all of that still because, uh, you know, I like to diversify my anime intake, right? Yes, yes so, me too. Same, same. Uh, so I'm watching everything Seren's watching uh, and then I'm also watching Misfit of Demon Academy. Oh, that. Or I, Demon saw King sec- Academy. I saw the second episode. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, if you like OP characters and a guy that's a complete savage, like this is probably something you'll want to watch. It's nothing amazing. It's just your run-of-the-mill OP uh, MC. So, uh, so far, character development and everything else seems to be going at a nice, smooth pace. It is kind of funny here and there, but again, nothing amazing. So, I'm watching that, and I'm also watching uh, the Rent a Girlfriend anime. Oh, I, uh, I can't believe I watched that because I wasn't planning on watching, but I watched the first episode. So, yeah, it actually wasn't that bad. Um, I, just, I just hear like people that don't like the manga. That's why I'm like, I'm not. I didn't want to watch it in the first place. So, from the I'm scene, still- like I have the episode. I have the episode uh, mm-hmm. on Crunchyroll, and yeah. um, I, I I was planning on actually watching it today, but forgot. Uh, just ended up getting busy. But I will mm-hmm. be able to comment next week. But what Crunchyroll has shown oh. for clips on uh, on like Twitter and stuff, I thought it was I thought it was good. I don't know. I keep watching. So I basically was like, David. I don't because I fine. had extra Thank time you. on like the weekend, whatever. So I decided to yeah. watch the first episode. And I, I don't know, like it's something about the main character. It's like it's just. just annoys me i can't describe what but it's like just his attitude like i mean I to be fair he just got dumped, I, know, I know he's so... heartbroken and stuff but like just like just his like shitty attitude towards like when he was like going off on the girl even though like he actually like, didn't do anything wrong it's just like i don't know that just, just rubbed me the wrong way for some reason it's because she's preying on these hopeless men and taking their money david that's so Jeez. wrong is this a, is this a thing in rent a girlfriend it's the, oh, it's rent the girlfriend. rental oh, girlfriend. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I haven't watched it, guys. That's my yeah. excuse. Well, yeah. Also, the main, yeah, no, no, the main, main character's name, main character's voice is Aqua. So that's all I thought. Ooh, I, was I saw that too. Aqua. So. Yeah, but I mean, it's not too bad. And then, uh, like I said, I don't think it's going to be something amazing, but it's it's enjoyable to watch at least. Um, I'm still waiting to see how the story develops because. There is a slight twist at the end that's kind of cliche, but uh, mm-hmm. since you haven't seen it yet, Sren, I, I won't say anything. But um, I'd say you give it about. I'm, I'm still gonna watch it though, so you can go for it. No, that's fine. We'll just we'll just talk after you saw the second episode because I think it comes out on what Saturday, Sunday. Um, it's weekend, Friday. Yeah, I think it's weekend. Yeah, whichever day. I have to. I actually don't have like the date that it that it actually airs, but uh, I have. Uh, I'm planning on having the episodes done and. Uh, watched for next week so we can comment oh, at the end so of the well. don't don't count yeah. me on keeping up so if i was just being youtube oh no that's that's I fine I, I, yeah, back. i'm a loser that has nothing to do so it's fine <laughs> and then uh i'm still uh, watching the series i mean i'm still watching black clover just because I'm, I'm still into it just because you gotta finish i'm a man that likes to finish all right and then i'm also continue watching this um uh, you know it 
at first I started watching it because I thought it was a sports anime, but it's called Ahiru no Sora. Oh, I thought which it was a is... sports anime. Is it not? Is it more drama? Yeah, it's more of a drama than it is an anime. Okay. Uh, a sports anime. So uh, it, it's a really slow pace, but they really flesh out all the characters, like the supporting cast. It's not just about the MC. Although, dude, this shit, there, there is some tear jerkers in this anime, which I didn't think I would get from a, a sports anime. But yeah, I think it's like... 30 or so episodes in and they've only ever played like two or three matches <laughs> and then each each match is is like maybe four or five episodes at, at some point so it, it's a really slow paced anime not a lot of people like it because like they thought it was just gonna be a straight up shonen uh sports anime like but you. <laughs> it's, it's more yeah, yeah like me but it turns out to be like a, a drama somewhat serious anime that focuses more on like character development so I like surprisingly I thought I was gonna drop it, but um I've I've enjoyed it so far. So Okay. Uh yeah. But I think that's I think that's it for this season. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. I think that's that'll be it. Um Yeah, so just the first week, like not not a lot to talk about just because like we're just a lot of the shows are setting things up, you know. There's a lot of exciting first episodes this week. So looking forward to the rest of the season. We're finally uh, that spring drought because all the delays hopefully to be no more delays this year and, and yeah so that'll be it for this week i want to thank uh the audience for listening to this episode uh shout out to everyone who makes it to the end because no one tells us anything so again feedback is appreciated i want to thank the panelists for being here with me today thanks guys always appreciate Hearing what you have to say. Senor. Any time, man. But I was going to comment on the first, even though this was, this was first week, it, it seemed like Sword Art is going to be probably our longest section. Oh I'm going to guess. It's the best anime, it's but we'll see it next it's week. It's not even, yeah, it's not even, like, it's going to be our longest section, but it's not going to be for the good. It's, oh, it's uh, good, all right. It's well, good. I mean, but yes, I guess, like, yeah, it depends on how you look at it, but yeah. All right. So thanks, thanks, panelists, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izuka Podcast, week two of the 20... Uh, the, God damn it. The summer 2020 <laughs> season. Let me try that one more time. All right, all right, all right. Brief. It's a Tuesday day, but Don't worry, man. It's also, Musa. It's also super hot in this room. All right. Yeah. Hey, we, we, we don't have to have excuses here, sir. It happens, <laughs> Shut man. Shut the fuck up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right.